Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to make a stem and leaf plot that involves decimals. Now, stem and leaf plots are a way for us to organize and display data. So we take the data and we organize everything in a table called a stem and leaf plot. Let's jump into our example and see exactly how to do this. We have the distances that someone either ran or walked on the treadmill over the last two weeks. So this is per day over the last two weeks. And these are miles. The first thing that we need to do is order the data from least to greatest. This will make everything much simpler once we get to creating the stem and leaf plot. So let's start with the shortest distance. That's going to be 9 tenths of a mile, so 0.9. And we have two of those, so let's start there. Then we have 1, 1 1.1, 1.4, 1.5, 1.8, let's start a new row here, and then we have 2.2, then 2.3, 2.5, then we have 2.8, then 2.9, and lastly, 4.1. Now that everything is in order, we need to create the stem and leaf plot. Let's draw out the stem side and the leaf side. We need a vertical line and then a horizontal line. The left column is the stem column, and then the right column is the leaf column. Taking a look at the data, everything has a ones digit and a tenths digit, and we range from nine tenths to four and one tenth. With stem and leaf plots, we split each value within a data set into a stem and a leaf. For example, let's take two and six tenths, and we're going to split this into a stem and a leaf. So the ones digits are going to be the stems and the tenth digits are going to be the leaves. Our next step is to list the stems. But before doing so, let's take a look at what our lowest stem will be and what our highest stem will be. That way we know what to list. The lowest ones digit is zero and the highest is four. Now let's list our stems. So we can start with our lowest of zero and then work our way up to our highest of four. So those stems represent the ones digits and we went from the lowest of zero to the highest of four and we included everything in between. Now we need to list the leaves and we're just going to go in order starting with 9 tenths, 0.9. So we split this, 0 is the stem, and then 9 is the leaf. So let's put 9 here. Then we have another 0.9, so we need another leaf of 9. Then we move to 1, 1 1.0. So we have a stem, we move down to the stem of 1, and then we need a leaf of 0. Then we have 1.1, stem of 1, leaf of 1. Next we have 1.4, so we need a leaf of 4. Then 1.5, so a leaf of 5. Then 1.8, so a leaf of 8. Now we move to 2.2, .2, so we're moving down to the stem of 2, and we need a leaf of 2. Then we have 2.3, so a leaf of 3. 2.5, leaf of 5. 2.6, leaf of 6, 2.8, leaf of 8, and then 2.9, leaf of 9. And then our last value, our last distance is 
So we skip the stem of three. We don't have any threes. So let's move down to the stem of four and we need a leaf of one. And that's it for the leaves. So we worked through the data and we kept everything neat, spaced and aligned so it's easy to read. You can see that we have the distances under a mile, then we have the one mile distances, the two mile distances, we don't have any three mile distances, and then a four mile distance. The stem and leaf plot helped us organize and display the data. So now what we need to do is make a key. That way, anyone looking at this will know exactly what the stems represent and what the leaves represent and how to read this stem and leaf plot. And all we need to do here is take an example from the stem and leaf plot and put what it equals. Let's use two and six tenths. So this is going to be our example for the key. So underneath, the stem and leaf plot, let's put key, and then a stem of two with a leaf of six equals two and six tenths. And we can even label this miles since that's what we're working with here. So that's our key. And then lastly, to wrap this up, we can put a title. So let's put distances on the treadmill. And this is miles. So there you have it. There's how to make a stem and leaf plot involving decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.